EA Sports. It's in the game. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? Are you ready? Get ready, dog. Ready, I'm really proud of you. Thank you, sir. How's a gutsy performance out there tonight? You took us to a national championship when nobody, and I mean nobody, expected you to. And for what it's worth, I'm really glad you stayed four years ago. Thanks, coach. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, baby, we going to the chip. Woo. One more game, baby. We got this, man. Oh, yeah. Football is my life, man. But you got to stay grounded in what's important. So I got a little surprise for you. Isaiah! <laughs> Em, looking good, Emily. Oh, and I'm loving this hat. Thank you. Oh, absolutely. Is that magenta? Fuchsia? What color is that? Okay. Hey, I bet he'd probably be good at uh off the board, huh? Yeah. Look, Emily has the best games. Okay. If you had a unicorn, would you want its mane to be purple or pink? Well. Hmm. Well, these are both tough, but good options. I'm gonna do pink, no question. Definitely pink. <laughs> pink, no question. Come on. <laughs> no, look. You see, look, you don't, you don't pick from the options given. All right? The game is in the name. Off the board. Uh, now nah, it's playing. <laughs> okay, look. If I had a unicorn, I'd have a mane that matches its horn. Silver. Mm -hmm. I'd go with Onyx. Ah. Uh Onyx. <laughs> okay. I told you she's a pro. <laughs> hey, how are you? Todd Atwood. I'm Emily's dad. Hi. Can I talk to you for a second? She's too shy to ask, but Emily wanted to know if you could do something for her in the national championship game. Yeah, of course. Anything. She wanted you to throw three touchdowns. Three? I thought I said four. Four touchdowns. Uh, <laughs> is, is that okay? Well, uh, four touchdowns is a lot. Uh, yeah, but how can you turn down this face? Look at that. But I'll see what I can do. Yes. Don't, don't worry. He'll do it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> it's great to see you again. Great to see you. It was nice to meet you, Emily. You too. <laughs> We're days away from the national championship game, and there is one big question on everyone's mind. Can lightning strike twice? Last week, we saw a quarterback with no game day experience lead his team to victory in the college football playoff semifinal. Kyle, is this kid good enough to win a championship? Nah. Not, not at all. It, no, no, not that's no. it. But hold on. I don't think he has to be. And this, let me tell you what I mean. There is so much talent on that team on both sides of the ball. Manage the game. Don't make the big mistake. I think they have a real shot. I do. Kyle, we don't like managers of the game here at the table. Very boring, just like your shirt. I feel you, but I disagree. The team has a ton of talent, 
but they're going to need this dude to make some plays. They're not going to win if they hand the ball off 50 times. You two be nice. You, Peter Schrager, mm -hmm. do you think he'll rise to the challenge? I do, as, as long as the pressure doesn't get to him. Yeah, for real, he's about to feel that pressure. Listen, there's a lot of weight on this dude's shoulders right now. He wins this game, he punches his ticket to the NFL. He loses, and we'll see, I guess. And then if you're a coach, how do you handle this? Mm. What do you say to a kid that has so much to lose on that field? Hey, can I talk to you a minute? Sure, coach. You know, I know it's hard to shut out all the noise. And it's a lot of pressure. The only thing that we can control is what's right in front of us. And what's right in front of us is a game of football. Same rules as always. So you gotta take a step back, right? You gotta breathe it in. You find a way to appreciate this moment, this, this time with your teammates, take in the crowd. Man, you do that and, and everything gets real quiet. All right, so breathe, take it in. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I got you, Coach. Yeah, thanks. Go. Yeah, yeah. We crown a champion tonight here at Levi Stadium in Santa Clara for the College Football Playoff National Championship game. As we'll see the Florida State Seminoles taking on the Red Raiders from Texas Tech. One game to decide it all. It's the College Football Playoff National Championship, and off we go from Levi's Stadium. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll make it across the 20, as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. Seeking the school's first national championship and just his second career start. What a story. The Red Raiders have it here first and ten. Escaping the pressure right. Under pressure and down he goes. A bad start there. A big loss on their first play from scrimmage. It's second down. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. The throw on the quick slant going to be complete. And they'll get nine there as that sets them up better for third down. Now this Texas Tech offense, historically, they like to throw the football around the yard. Second in the country in pass completions this season. And even with a backup quarterback at the helm, and we kind of talked about this in the semifinal, but their staff told us the formula is not changing. They believe in him, and they believe in this system. They think he can make every throw that Marcus Washington can make. And we saw that in the semis, and now it carries over to the championship. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. 
It's caught. Jones. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 21 yards there. A big play on fourth down. Well, peel back the curtain, partner. We've got a pretty good look into how they plan to play this game. Aggressive seems to be the word. Going for it on fourth down in that situation. Yeah, opening drive. Now, we know this coaching staff, they have traits of aggression in their history, but what a start to this game. They're going for it. Yeah, a lot of people might say reckless, but they got it. One for one on fourth down here early in the game. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice, getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Isaiah Street's the intended target, and it's third down. Quarterback in 101, never force the ball into double coverage, especially not this close to the goal line. The windows are so tight, you should not force it in there because it could be tipped up and picked off. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. Well, that student section wasn't alive. They are alive and well now. That chunk play woke them up. It is starting to get really, really loud in here as this offense is on the move here in the first quarter. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Second and 10. And a big loss here as he's taken down. But nothing takes a start to have a good drive quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? Now, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And Old Mo is a very, very fickle man. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. 14 yards, but they're still well shy of a first as that leads to fourth down. They didn't get the first down, but I have to say I do like the call. I like what they were trying to do. Try and hit your receiver on the run and see if he can pick it up, keep it on his feet, get a little rack yardage. Yeah, but a nice job defensively to get to him and keep him short of the first. Ready. They've already gone for it and made it once on this opening drive. They're going to try it again on fourth down. Now, meanwhile, they go for it on fourth down, and my goodness, incomplete. You know, a fourth down pass play doesn't work out. And this defense holds firm here on the opening drive of the night. Well, trying to be bold on the opening drive of the game, but that effort, it proves futile. How many times have we talked with coaches where they've talked about taking the emotion out of their decision making? I think that opening drive, if he didn't have it in his head to go for it before, I think that keyed into it. They were doing so well, and he decided to really establish something there. They didn't get it. Now you got to make sure that they don't lose their focus. Now a throw left sideline here is complete. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. But it appears that they read man defense and went to the out route. And what you have to do on that one is the receiver's got to make sure he works a defender towards the middle of the field to give himself space to cut to the outside and have that ball delivered with good timing. And they got it done. And he'll go down inside the 45 before going out of bounds. Nine yards on the play and a first down. First and 10 now, Florida State. They'll run now with Will Hoy. And he's going to be stopped at about the 37. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave them with a third and about three to go. From the gun on third down, George. And that's knocked away and incomplete. Now the Seminoles going to send out the field goal unit. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. It's picked up. A live ball. The big fella. The 40. The 30. 10. And he will score. It's a touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the red.